Echocardiography has crucial importance in the diagnosis of dilated cardiomyopathy. Echocardiography features of dilated cardiomyopathy are left ventricle dilation and systolic dysfunction with impaired global contractility and normal left ventricle wall thickness and left ventricle diastole dysfunction with elevation of left ventricle filling pressure. Other frequent characteristics are right ventricle dysfunction, atrial dilation, functional mitral and tricuspid regurgitation, and secondary pulmonary hypertension. With 3D echocardiography, only one acquisition is needed to obtain volumes and ejection fraction and provides the possibility for quantitative assessment of left ventricle regional wall motion by measuring the volume change of each segment in the cardiac sequel. It has been demonstrated to be more time-saving, reproducible and accurate than conventional 2D echocardiography for left ventricle volumes mass and ejection fraction measurements with lower inter- and intra-observer variability. Real-time 3D dimensional echocardiography is also a simple and reproducible method for measuring left ventricle desynchrony, free of the above limitation of TDI. This technique is capable of capturing the 3D dynamics of the entire left ventricle, including the time of wall motion independent of its direction. Accordingly, it has been postulated that this technique may prove useful in the selection of patients for CRT. Speckle tracking echocardiography has emerged as a novel technology to detect myocardial abnormalities. Strain analysis allows discrimination between active and passive movement of myocardial segments and permits separate assessment of distinct components of myocardial deformation longitudinal and circumferential shortening, radial thickening, rotation and twisting. Patients with dilated cardiomyopathy have an increased left ventricle mass and volume and typically decreased contractility of the left ventricle walls. This change leads to impaired strain in all directions, longitudinal, radial and circumferential.